Mike Tyson, born in 1966, also known as Iron Mike, is considered to be one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. World Heavyweight Champion from the years 1987 to 1990. He's the youngest boxer ever to win a heavyweight title, claiming his first belt at just 20 years of age. And today in this video, we're going to be talking about what Mike Tyson taught me about quitting alcohol. By the end of this video, you will just leave it so motivated and so ready to kick alcohol in its head and never look back. I cannot wait to share this with you today. And ladies and gentlemen, just before we get into the video, if you want my personal help stopping drinking in the Sober Clear program, where we work with business owners, professionals, investors, and help them reframe the way that they view alcohol, so it's like the desire to drink goes away, and then really focus on building a better future without alcohol, please click the link in the description and you can book a call. We'll jump on a quick call together and see if the program could be a good match for you. We've already worked with people from Google, JP Morgan, NASA. So if you want to see if you're a good match for this program, please click the link in the description. And now back to Mike Tyson. So to understand what Mike Tyson can teach us about not drinking alcohol, we really need to get into his mindset and how he sees the world. So let's play this video from Mike now. While I'm in the dressing room, five minutes before I come out, my gloves are laced up. I'm breaking my gloves down. I'm, I'm pushing the lever in the back of my gloves. I'm breaking the middle of the gloves for so my knuckle could pierce through the leather. I can feel my knuckle piercing against the tight leather gloves on the Everlast boxing gloves. When I come out, I have supreme confidence, but I'm scared to death. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated, but I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. I've dreamed of him beating me, but, that, but I always stayed afraid of him. But the closer I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one could beat me. I walk around the ring, but I never, I never take my eyes off my opponent. I keep my eyes on him, even if he's ready and pumping. He can't wait to get his hands on me as well. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. Then once I see a chink in his arm, boom, and one of his eyes may move, and then I know I have him. Then when he comes to the center of the ring, he still looks at me with his piercing look, and as if he's not afraid, but he already made that mistake when he when he looked down for that one-tenth of a second, I know I had him. He'll fight hard for the first two or three rounds, but I know I already broke his spirit. During the fight, I'm supremely confident. I'm moving my head, he's throwing punches. I'm making a miss and I'm countering. I'm hitting him to the body, I'm punching him real hard. And I'm punching him, when I'm punching him, I know he's not able to take my punches. One, two, three punches, I'm throwing him punches and bunches. He goes down, he's out. I'm victorious. Mike Tyson, greatest fighter that ever lived. Listen, I don't know about you guys, but that speech fires me up. I've actually listened to it a handful of times in my life, but let's unpack it now and make it relevant to not drinking alcohol because it is so relevant in so many ways. So the first thing that Mike talks about is how he is afraid of his opponent, which might shock you, right? Surely fighters are just thinking about how they're the best and they're going to kill everybody. But he talks about fear. He's under no illusion that his opponent is working hard to kill him, that his opponent wants his heart. He, he wants to see Mike on the floor half dead. And he's afraid. He's afraid of that person. So he works. He works hard. He works diligently. He trains and he gets ready for the fight. And I think this is interesting. You know, I was quite shocked to hear that the first time I heard it, he's afraid, uh, but I wouldn't call it a fear of, you know, he's not, he's not terrified. He's not like sat at home in, in, in his bed, like afraid to leave the room. He's being realistic, which spurs him into action. Now let's, let's just think about alcohol as an opponent, an opponent that is backed by billions of dollars of marketing spend, is backed by some of the most influential people on the planet. You know, it wouldn't even surprise me if politicians have got investments in alcohol companies. I, I don't know if that's true, but it just wouldn't surprise me at all. And there are people out there that want you to drink the stuff. And now I'm not saying you should be afraid of that, but you need to keep aware. All Mike is, is he's aware. He's aware of his opponent. He's aware that his, his, his opponent's working hard to smash his face in. And guess what? Guess what's happening right now? Alcohol companies are doing the exact same thing. Thing. They are working and spending tremendous amounts of money to influence you to drink. They don't care. They don't care if it kills you. They don't care. They don't care. All they want is your money. All they want is you as a customer. Just like Mike is staying aware, we also need to stay 
aware. Now, because Mike has prepared, because he's ready for the fight, talks about when he gets into the ring, he's, he's, he's confident, supremely confident. He says he feels like a god. And I don't feel like a god, right? But if you put me in a bar full of people that drink alcohol, I feel confident. I feel 1000% confident that there is nothing that any of those people could get me to do that's going to make me drink alcohol. And he, he talks about getting in the ring and, and locking eyes with the opponent and, and just, you, you can't break Mike. He, he looks, he stares, and then all of a sudden his opponent breaks and then he knows he's going to win. Yo, I feel the exact same way with alcohol. I faced that issue in my life head on. I've done the work. I've changed the way I view alcohol and I have won that battle. It's already done. So I know that when I go to these places, I feel like a boxer in a ring that's just had six months of training against a guy that's completely out of shape. I have, I am going to kill you. I am going to destroy you. That's how I feel with alcohol. And I know it sounds strange to think of alcohol as an opponent, but why not? Like it's something that's been there in your life for many years. They just keep smacking you in the face and you keep going back to it. It's an abusive relationship. You wouldn't stay with a partner that abused you, that made you feel absolutely terrible. You'd call the police. You wouldn't stand for that. Yet we stay in a relationship with alcohol for years. And it's an opponent that just keeps knocking us down again and again and again. And the third thing that Mike taught me about stopping alcohol is his mindset is impenetrable. He is just in pure conviction that he's going to win that fight. He knows there is there is nothing. There's not a chink in his armor. He is just so determined and so ready to, to fight the opponent, to win, to come out on top. Look what happened. You know, he just went on a winning streak, just winning again and again and again. And nothing could penetrate his mindset. And that's very interesting because fighting is a very high stakes game. You can be on top of the world. You can be world champion and you lose a couple of fights and it's all over. It's a very high stakes game. But the best people in, in fighting sports, their mindset is impenetrable. Nothing can break them until one day somebody gets into their head and then it's all over. But that level of conviction is something that we need to hold on to as we're on our journey to not drinking alcohol because that opponent is going to come around every corner. It's going to be there all the time. You need to stay vigilant and keep fighting the fight. Now, if you click the video on the screen now, you can learn what Tupac also taught me about not drinking alcohol.